Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator. And today we are going to create a beautiful designer look nails. Have a wee preview of it in here. Absolutely a fantastic, very elegant uh, looking nails and very trendy at the moment as well. I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start. <laughs> You can see it guys, um, black and white ombre, actually a designer nails and I will show you step by step how to create the ombre. It's a tricky one and it was actually also requested as well to do the tutorials on the black and uh, grey and uh, white ombre and I show you how to do it. So I've got my tips buffed and they white. What you will need to do on the client's nails, you will need to paint them white gel polish, apply the top coat then buff them. Or you could do it also on the nude color. I think it looks absolutely awesome as well. But I show you um, this way. So we've got two choices. One I recommend it. Why I don't. One I don't. 183 is a black gel polish, and you have seen me guys working with it, and it's a one coat like gel polish, which is the best one ever. And I still wouldn't use it for an ombre. The reason for it is the sponges absorb the ombre, uh, the, the gel, and then the ombre doesn't work, okay? So I'm using also the sponge, which is from the Primark. Unfortunately, the Primark shop doesn't ship to the uh, online, doesn't have like online store. It is only stationary. The best way to do the ombre is to use the black foil design gel because it's a paint on gel. So for all my baby boomers, I'm using the French. And then for a black one, I'm going to use the black one the foil design gel. Uh, all you have to do is just apply like a small amount of the black at the tip. So I'm doing across all the nails like on the client. I would just apply a small drop of the black uh, gel on the entire nails and then take a sponge. I'm always keeping the sponges on the back piece of the foil or a sellotype just to remove any fluffs on it. Otherwise, uh, the, the look might be pretty messy. The first movement is to drag the product. Don't dab it, drag it. And we want to only concentrate on this part of the tip. Don't bother about the end, only this part, okay? So what you do is you pick up a small amount of the color and you just brushing it. And we're only going to concentrate on those higher points. Don't put too much pressure, lots of movements like, um, and I'm brushing it on. Okay, so I'm only creating a gradient like on the top part of the tip. Don't go in a two straight lines because then it is not going to look nice. Like go into a little bit, maybe a V-shape. Okay, and ideally, because this sponge has a really uh, nice amount of the product on it, uh, just go straight away into the second one. So remove the excess first and then go higher, higher in those brushing motion. Those brushing motion is really important. Like don't dab it. Uh, just brush it so you're really leaving a very small amount of the product like tiniest amount of the product ever okay then your sponge goes back into the uh, form and you pick up another scoop of the black gel I choose only two tips as well because it's exactly the same all over and now I'm just going a little bit um, to blend it this part okay so it already looks not too bad, but it's so gray. Like, and of course we want to achieve black on the end. So I show you what we do next. Okay. The next step is to take some uh, clear acrylic powder. So I'm using acrylic powder in clear and I'm going to sprinkle it with this acrylic powder before curing. Okay. So sprinkle it entire tip and then give it a cure. Remove the excess, put inside the lamp. Okay, do exactly the same on this one. So pick up a scoop of the clear acrylic and sprinkle over it. The reason for it is if we would go, uh, oh no, I have touched this one. If we would go with the um, gel over the gel, like um, it is not going to stick in nice. That's why I also we have buffed the tip on the beginning of the of the video as well. Okay, the first one is ready. So I'm picking up again the drop of the foil design gel. Uh, 
And now the next part which I'm going to work on, so this part is done, the next part is this part here, okay? And now I'm start dabbing. So I'm dabbing, dabbing. Obviously the more movements you do with it, the nicer blending you will get as well. If it's needed, you can add a drop more. And then sprinkle it and give it a cure. Do exactly the same on the other one. So pick up a scoop of black. And then dabbing motion. I'll also maybe show you one in uh, shiny. I can always, for a thumbnail, get it back to matte again. Uh, just so you can see it as well, that's uh, at the end we are going to achieve a really nice black color. Okay, give it a sprinkle with the acrylic. And then the last third layer. I find that the third layer kind of make it look much nicer. And when you're doing it across like all five needles, it's not really as uh, as time consuming. So remove the excess if needed. Okay, so this is our last layer. Take a sponge again. If it's needed, you can touch up a little bit higher, but then be very gentle, like I'm not pressing as hard. And then let's pigment, uh, pigment the free edge, okay? So I'm just pigmenting the free edge. So it's really nice and black. And then just with the edge of the sponge, you are going to blend that out, okay? So this way you've got really nice and, and black free edge. Put it inside the lamp, do exactly the same in here. Add more. And just dab it in. Once you're happy, give it a cure. Now the next step on those needles is to apply those designer logo. And we've got uh, us on the page, uh, on the website, uh, dorotapalitska.com, you can find those uh, designer logo um, studs. And I think they are awesome, especially now that they are pretty fashion. I quite like to use the base to stick them in. So I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of the base and place it in there and then grab one design just trying to pick it up on the right side there we are find the nice place for it Like make sure it's put straight and then give it a cure. Do it exactly the same on this one. I hope you guys also find it useful. As I say, this tutorial was pretty requested. Uh, so I decided to do it for you to show you the easiest way to do the white and black ombre 
there's also lots of tutorials when I'm doing a colorful ombre, when I'm doing a baby boomer. And uh, if there is any other videos you would like to see, just drop me a comment below. And I will be happy to put them on the request list. And then finally, when I when it comes to the time, I will be able to record it. And then give it a cure to, <clears throat> to this one. No, make sure it's nice and straight. I think it moved a bit. There we are. Now on the one new, I'm going to put um, the shiny top coat as I have promised it you guys. And uh, on the other one, we will do the matte top coat. So the shiny top coat is here. I will just buff it at myself and, and do it matte afterwards. Okay, so this is how the shiny looks. Or actually, I could not cure it and just wipe it away and do it matte. <laughs> so that's the shiny one. And then this one is going to be matte. And I really like it, a matte version of it. Like, I think it looks awesome. So I'm applying pretty decent amount of the top coat, especially over the... Uh, the studs, like I want them to be nice and flat. Sometimes on the clients, I would apply a drop of the base over them as well. Perfect, and then give it a cure. Okay, so that's the shiny one. You can see it, guys, the shiny one. And then the matte one, I just give it a couple seconds longer. And then I can show you. All of them, but for a thumbnail picture, I'm definitely going to do the matte one all over them. So, don't want to touch it because I didn't cure it fully, so I can easily apply the top coat over it. And then the matte one. Yeah, definitely a matte ones. I prefer the matte ones, I think. But yeah, have a wee look uh, on the difference in between them. I think the matte also shows uh, better the design as well because the light doesn't reflect on it. But I just wanted to show you how black the free edge is. Uh, with the shiny top coat. I hope you have guys really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. You can also hit the share button as well so the others can see it. Those sweet tricks how to create uh, those black and white ombre glittery hacks. And bye for now.